Okay, on station, Herc's released. Roger. Bridge copies. Secure the transom. Roger. Page copies. Atlantic going over the side. Control copies. Bridge copies. Okay, Atlantis clear of the vessel. Control copies. Bridge copies. Is the Paros turn on for the uh, for Atalanta? I'm not getting a delta depth. <clears throat> there we go. Does it? Uh
this is an audio this is an audio slate for dive uh, hotel uh, 1991 UTC time is uh, 10 12 10 13 zero, zero. Control van, uh, deck, that's all, stop at 5 zero. Roger, ready to take control. Deck control van, is Tim there? Oh, he just went inside. Do you want me to uh, chase him up? Yeah, please send him up. Thank you. Hey, control van, this is the bridge. Go ahead, bridge. Okay, Captain is going off radio comms now. Roger. Control van, uh, deck. Uh, has Tim made his way up to you? I'm still looking for him. Roger.
All right, control van, yeah, uh, phone Tim, he's on his way up to you. Roger, thank you. We're blending some zooplankton. <laughs> if we get a closer look, maybe. You see the stringy bits? Um, pilots, James or Michael, yeah. Whenever you have a chance, would you mind turning on the Ethernet bottle and the um, still DSC cam? I think they're on. Yeah, Ethernet you're right. Bottles, it does say they're pops. on. Do you okay. need cycle, power cycle? Mm, let's give it a try one more time. I'll let you know in a second. Thank you. Yep. Yes, please. Hello everyone, this is Ashley Glickley, Science Communication Fellow, and we have just begun our initial descent here at a small isolated peak seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. Um, we're currently at 128 meters, um, and today we will be exploring a previously mapped area that was mapped by the EV Nautilus during NA140. We're looking to sample the diversity of deep sea benthic communities um, specifically coral, sponge habitats, fish habitats, and any ver vulnerable marine habitats. We're also looking to survey and sample the geological features and acquire data to support the p um, Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument needs and anything that is working towards making that area a marine sanctuary. The comments are available, so if you would like to write in any questions that you have for us, we are available to answer questions in English. We have Spanish speakers here. Podemos contestar las preguntas en español, and also in Portuguese tonight. So we're going to start with our back row. I'm going to let everyone do their introductions. Again, I'm Ashley Glickley, teacher from Kentucky and science communication fellow. I'm going to pass it over to my right. Hi everyone, here's Haisa Hogan. I am part of the science team. And I'm an oceanographer and a member of the network of the ocean census. All right, thank you, Haisa. And Leela is busy doing a few extra checks, Leela. All right, we're gonna go on down to Jane. Good morning. I am Jane Carrick. I am a PhD student at the University of Rhode Island here to observe and uh, I will be data logging all of our observations, all of our samples and everything that happens during this dive. I'm going to be taking note of that. That is my role on this particular dive and all of them actually. <laughs> Leela? Hello, I am Leela Bellucci. I am sitting in the watch leader seat right now on this watch, um, but I am the science manager on this cruise, and I have my lovely data loggers helping out with keeping track of everything that we're seeing and uh, helping me manage all that data on the back end, and also a team of lovely scientists and data loggers who help in the lab with all the samples that we are very excited to collect and process when they get back up. All right, let's go to the front row if you're ready to introduce yourself. Hey 
Hey everybody, I'm Lynette. I am the navigator on this watch. Um, I try to make sure we get where we're trying to go safely and on time. And that's pretty much it. That's and we job. are grateful for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> safely and on time, I like it. All right, and our ROV pilot. Everybody, uh, my name is James Barnett. I'm a Herc pilot for the 12 to 4 watch. And uh, I control the robot. Lots of fun. All right, and one more. Hello, everyone. My oh. name is Michael Vaillem. I am the uh, 12 to 4 co pilot. I pilot Atlanta, and I assist wow. with anything that uh, that, the, that Herc needs. When, Maybe uh, a Hydra Medusa? I couldn't tell. When the pilot is uh, piloting. Thank so. you, Michael. All right, so we just saw something. What was that, Leila? Did you? I, I only just saw the end of it out of the corner of my eye. I'm not sure, but um, something jelly-like could have been a hydra medusa or a, or a jelly, like a, an actual feature. And we have two more fish. introductions. Yes, yes we two do. more yeah, introductions. We're, we're, we're moving. <laughs> we just wanted to go back to that medusa. All moving right. right along. Moving right along in the front. Hi, my name is Panos. I'm the video engineer for this watch. Uh, excited to be here. My name is Dave Robertson. I'm the lead video engineer on this expedition, and I'm training Panos. And thank you for our video engineers. And we are descending um, now at 249 meters, going to 250. We've had several days of C4 mapping south of Johnston Atoll due to certain weather conditions, um, but we are happy to start this dive. Uh, looking for very specific features in the uh, coral and sponge habitats, but also looking for um, other things like sea pens. Aisa is a, a sea pen expert, so we're keeping our eyes peeled for that today. And we're starting out in a kind of sedimented section. Well, we think, we think, that's what, you know, we've never been here before, neither has anybody else. Um, but we think it'll be kind of sedimented in the beginning. So maybe we'll see some cool sea pens there. And if we do, they would be fairly deep at, um, at 2,800 meters. So I'm sure Haisa will be very excited about them. <laughs> but right now, she's very occupied getting the still camera ready, which <laughs> is how we take all the pretty pictures, oh, secondary pretty pictures of uh, all the cool things we see. But she did smile very... Very big when you said sea pens. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. Looks like aft, aft, fa uh, aft faces. Deck face is back again. So that deck face is that in fact intentional with the the smiley and yeah, the two yeah, boys? It's intentional. I love that. <laughs> and now that Michael pointed out that it looks like a squat lobster, I can't get that out of my head. <laughs> it looks like a nerdy squat lobster because it has like uh, that head headset lamp, you know, going on. Inspecting whatever it needs to inspect. Like a dentist squat lobster? Yeah. <laughs> and almost the telescope eyes, telescope, uh, I don't know if they can. <laughs> That's the technical term for them, but the ones that kind of come out. Oh, we yeah, had like the special glasses yeah. that yeah. make them. Oh, the telescopic. Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. I get you. I get you. So we've had a very exciting poll going on Instagram and our social media, um, voting for your favorite highlight from Johnston Atoll. So if you haven't gotten a chance to vote, we are looking um, for more votes. That will be closing in a couple hours. And we have votes for either the sea pen, the squat lobster, or the volcanic rock, which is your preferred highlight from Johnston. Does anybody here want to weigh in on that? I voted C Pen. <laughs> Salumbalula. I think I I voted C Pen too just because I like to say Salumbalula. <laughs> <laughs> and because I wanted to see Haisa's massive smile. <laughs> oh yes. But Paula's very excited about the squat lobster. We also love the, the squat lobster. <laughs> yeah. If that Paula if you're listening. And it's okay Nicholas. We we like the the rock as well. Don't worry. They're all our favorites. Can't all be your favorite. Well, you can have multiple favorites. Maybe your favorite changes from hour to hour. All right. <laughs> A set of favorites, <laughs> if you will. I can have as many favorites as I want to. <laughs> all right. No shade oh, throw. You know what? Okay. 
Yes. So somebody had asked about some deep sea jokes that we might be able to make. <laughs> yeah, I've have been looking one. for some. Uh-oh, Jane's ready. <laughs> All right, what is a comb jelly's favorite time of day? A comb jelly's favorite TOD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it's UTC or otherwise. <laughs> comb jelly's favorite time of day. Oh, it has to have a comb jelly's favorite time of day. It Ooh, has okay, to have something wait. to do with getting ready. Um, favorite time of day. This is real nerdy, guys. Just wait, yeah, you know. yeah. No, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> the I don't know the teens. It's is it military time? Teen oh four. Ten, ten oh four. That's so bad. Ten oh four. It's so, <laughs> so good. Bad. Is what you mean? So bad. It's so good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, everyone. <laughs> All right. We had a shrimp count going the other day. I think we were at fifteen. So are we you might sure have fifteen or a, a fifteen shrimp, or do you think it's the same shrimp fifteen times? <laughs> well, I think <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's a fifteen. I don't think either could be confirmed or denied. All right. I'm uh, we have to go with the, the most logical one, that it's the same one. <laughs> Ooh, I saw a little fish right there. Currently at 384 meters. I guess I don't need any of this. Yes. Oh, yeah, go for it, go for it. It's not doing it by itself. Our max depth today will be 2,778 meters, approximately one th or 9,114 feet, which in my neck of the woods is taller than the Great Smoky Mountains. So just something to keep it in perspective. And it seems like I opened the comments but didn't save the settings. So if you are looking to put in a question or any comments for us, um, it is now open. <laughs> you mean I don't get feedback on my amazing joke? Because <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I know we've all been waiting anxiously for this dive. Jane, what are you most excited about for, for today's dive? Honestly, I'm happy just to be diving. <laughs> it's been a week of um, anxiously waiting, or not so much anxious, but anticipatingly waiting. Yes. So hopefully learn some new species, perhaps, see some things that we didn't see on our first dive. Yeah, I think we we found ourselves in this spot about a week ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Our last dive. And those highlights are available on nautiluslive.org if you'd like to check out the highlights from our last dive last week. Okay, I was I was admittedly not listening to the beginning of this. What are the three highlights was it was a rock, a sea pen and a Yes, if you're interested in voting on <laughs> our social media page, we are voting for sea pen. Squat lobster, squat lobster, or right. volcanic rock. Was what was the squat lobster the 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 potential new species squat lobster? So oh, it could be oh. any squat. It could be any squat lobster. Paula says. That. Oh, oh, there wasn't like an actual f video of of a squat lobster affiliated with the voting. No, not necessarily. Oh, okay. uh, We're just voting in general. Well, well I think favorite. we should try and get good footage of a rock, a sea pen, and a squat <laughs> lobster. There we go. Oh. We're going to justify our vote Walking here. Walking into a bar. Thankfully, the rock won't yeah. go very far <laughs> as we're trying to take pictures of it. <laughs> That might be easier. Yeah. <laughs> Say and not, I guess the sea pen either. <laughs> They're yeah. pretty much going to stay. Yeah. You saw a cubozoa? Uh-huh. Really? I think so. Cool. What is a cubozoa? Uh, it is a box jelly. Mm -hmm. There, it's a, this is class level, I'm pretty sure, class of, um, of Nidarian. And they are different from like, normal jellies in that they, they're uh, 
more predatory. They have better sensory abilities, and they can actually like chase prey. They can decide. I am. Wow. I'm going after that bit, and uh, they have pretty gnarly stinging cells. You don't really want to run into them in the surface ocean. Well, I'm, I'm And we're descending at 468 meters. Who can do the quick math on what, fra what fraction of our max depth that's going to be? Oh my goodness. 2,800 divided be? by 500. What is it? 2,800 divided by 500. I don't know, roughly five-ish, five and change. Five and a half. Mm. Five and a half, uh, so five, five point five. You're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep going. What other decimals? <laughs> Can I have a... Yes, sure. It's going to be 5.525. Nice. Yep. That's why he's a physics man. I was going to say, the human kidding. calculator. <laughs> Or something like that. About two four, I'm sorry. Or four zero. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> and all of that at twelve thirty four AM. Good job. Well, I have a physicist. <laughs> One, two, three quick maths. Thank you. Everyone is very involved. Everyone's been like, we have been out of the water for too long. <laughs> Everyone is up in the van. They have a lot to say. Jane, if you've forgotten how to data log by now, that's OK. Feel free to ask <laughs> questions. <laughs> well, there's not much to log, unfortunately, at the moment. <laughs> so you never know. Every time I look away, it's someone is like, well, what, what was that? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. You should have like instant replay if possible. Yeah. Some sort of capability. Tim, get on that. Where's our, uh, <laughs> where's our, so we were at the oxygen minimum zone just a little bit looks ago, like it looks there. Like what time was that? 10.30ish? 10.29, so about five And what depth ago. was that? At 10.29? Where do you see that? The yellow pot is her depth. Right there. Top left. Five point mm. six. About four hundred meters. Man, that's off. Um right. Uh yep, yeah, about four hundred meters. You can also like hover over it, it'll tell you if you want to actually know, you know. Like but yes, it does look like about four hundred meters. Three eighty five. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And what was the Oxygen concentration there. Is 17 micromoles per liter. Uh huh. Yep. That was it's very low. Okay. What was the um, character that I can't put into the data log? It's going to cut it off. Colon? Ah, uh, yes. So we have been transiting a lot and doing a lot of mapping. What is everybody's favorite part of the expedition so far in the last week or so? What do you think has been your favorite thing? Um, I personally enjoyed the cutthroat competition to uh, guess the depth of the seamount we were going to be mapping <laughs> later that day. Oh, oh, I man. thought that was pretty good. That was pretty close. That yeah, was it was. It was. I mean, the the, the numbers were all over the place. So the seamount, we know. From satellite altimetry, we get a really rough estimate of what the seafloor looks like. And when you look on, on Google Earth and it looks like the whole seafloor is mapped, actually most of it is just those rough guesses from satellite data. If anyone cares, I could go into it more. But <laughs> we <the> all care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, satellites try and get rid of the height differences of the water that come from the waves or come from swell and um, and even they, they cancel that all out to try and look at where there are height differences in the underlying water and that can tell you something about 
the topography of the seafloor below. Lynette, do you have a better description of that? No, I think that was pretty good. Um, yeah, essentially where there are seamounts or underwater mountains, um, I guess way to describe it is there's sort of stronger gravity yeah more gravity yeah. there and so the water will sort of pile up there you'll get sort of a pile of water over the top of a seamount um so once you subtract out the waves on this well um you can kind of guess um where those seamounts might be based on those sort of bulges in the water and we had from satellite altimetry was it something like four four hundred 30 something maybe yeah. was what the uh, actual depth of the summit of the seamount was estimated to be. And the guesses, I mean, the captain's guess was 2000. <laughs> uh, Lynette and I were both around like 500 something. I thought it was going to be a wee bit deeper. Some people went shallower maybe a little bit. And then uh, the ultimate winner was? was, was Gabby, one of, of the Herc pilots, uh, because it was around, what did it end up being, like? 16. 16 and... Uh, 18, 18, something. 18. And then uh, the winning guess was... It's like uh, 1751 or 1751. something. 1751. Yeah. But someone did uh, Someone yeah. guessed 1750, the, the right. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> Price is right. Runner up by 1750. And the reason that it was so off was because it was actually a guillot, so it was a flat top, but in the satellite altimetry it has all these conical guesses so it was like oh this is going to be a mountain and it wasn't a mountain it was flat topped so uh -huh. something cool about satellite altimetry is you can also Ooh. Ooh. pause huh. for a fish yeah <laughs> not pause for effect pause the fish for is pause keeping up fish. with us we're going down pretty fast and this fish is like hanging out what's that light oh so um, I was about to say satellite altimetry, you can derive um, surface currents from that using something called geostrophic velocity. It takes, um, again, the sea surface height and certain factors that I don't fully understand. Maybe our navigators do, um, but it can track large ocean currents like the Gulf Stream. I've been using some of that data remotely sensed from Copernicus Climate Change Service in one of my dissertation chapters. Very cool. Okay, that's wild, just putting it out there. Yeah. <laughs> the, what we can tell from satellite data is truly insane because there are so many, I mean, the ocean is huge, the world is huge in general, but the ocean is huge and you can't send boats out to go monitor it all the time or have platforms out there constantly monitoring, for example, phytoplankton blooms. But we have come up with ways from space to be able to monitor those things on wide scales. It's pretty impressive. Also, data logger, when you get a chance, could you stop the uh, closed captioning script for Hercules, or both of them? Both of them, or just Hercules? Uh, I don't know if you can tell which. Right, I was wondering what that was. Running, so. Okay. Um, all right, we're down at 672 meters. So yeah, we have probably had about 20 guesses on the whiteboard about the depth that we were seeing on the mapping. We've had an Instagram poll going for almost 24 hours. It's been pretty exciting. How you said, do you want to make one last pitch for why the C-Pen is the best? Well, <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up and uh, I see the squat lobster was one point in front of sea pens i did a call sea <laughs> <laughs> <C> pen lovers <laughs> please help uh, so i believe you were way ahead at the moment so i hope close the folks <laughs> <laughs> you feel confident that the sea pens are really, in the lead. <laughs> not really confident, but <laughs> she, she might have to put out another call to all sea pen lovers in a little while but yeah. actually yeah. impressive that the the rock got you know, some votes, so. So that was the wrong <laughs> script? That was the wrong script that you stopped? Please restart that script. Okay. Uh, what is our expected data? depth? I gotta go over 27 there. something? Yeah, yeah okay. our max depth is 2,778. That's not fair. I don't know why I thought I was like a little bit more. 
Maybe I misread it in the dive plan. Um, yeah, there were a couple other depths for sure on here. I think specifically because there was a track A and track B. Go, go, go. Oh, and actually, if you can restart. Time for bam. another oh, edition of KOET's Blue Water Watch. Uh oh. What was that, Blue Water White? Blue Water Watch. Uh oh. Blue Water Watch. It's still blue. Yeah. We're watching it be blue. <laughs> it is the Blue all Water blue Watch because we're watching it and it's blue water. <laughs> Bringing in those smooth ocean sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but Ashling, you were asking us what we most um, enjoy in the past few days that we are kind of stuck. I think for me it was the sunset. Mm. How often has been absolutely beautiful. Oh, I yeah. and, um, and with everybody together is really nice. Give the sense of a team. So yeah, yeah, I have enjoyed the sunsets, especially the last two nights have been, I've enjoyed trying to do yoga on the top deck <laughs> and falling over every five seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. yoga on a moving ship does not work out well. Oh yeah. And then you should just be able to keep them both minimized. Yeah, I just don't want to go, I like to see her in the... What's wrong? Did you? One of my favorite parts of the last couple of days has really just been listening to the scientists. I think I've learned more in a couple of days than I have in months of my life. But you know, every corner you turn around, there's a conversation about corals or sea pens or squat lobsters or mapping and imagery and volcanic rock. And there's so Another much to fish. learn. Is that a squid or a fish? Good question. I thought it looked like squid-like. Like possible. Ooh, what's the red? That was a siphonophore. There's a the shrimp. Oh, do we have a shrimp for our shrimp count? One. We're at least one, yep. Same shrimp? It's Different same, shrimp? It's the same shrimp. <laughs> yes, some, some <laughs> this shrimp is swimming there. really fast. Yeah. It's Ooh. following us. Apparently, according to my notes, the shrimp in this region is Pedro. <laughs> so, so. He has a name. Yeah, he's union. He's, he's, he's what? He's union. union. He's union. Yeah, got to get the screen time. It you know? <laughs> he, has, he, gets, he gets guaranteed, uh, you know, he gets paid by appearance. I took our It is definitely enjoying its evening. And watch, it's always going to be from left to right. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's the same shtick. Like an old vaudeville act. And we still have a lot of blue water. That's <laughs> okay. It's kind of peaceful at twelve forty. Yeah. Who knew the abyss would be so blue? I know, in my mind, it all, it looks like this. It's blue, we're going down, it's blue the whole time, but it's dark outside, and it's we're deep now, and it's dark down there, and none of this is actually yeah. bright and blue. <laughs> we're Usually going through like, black water, actually. When there's like slightly more like marine snow, yeah. um, it, it, it looks like a screensaver. Yeah. That's the best thing I can put in. It does. Yeah, there's, so, that, there's that moment of bliss where it looks like the... Uh, the Windows 95, like yeah. light speed. <laughs> it's coming saber. in. I mean, it'd be really phenomenal, especially in the ocean. If we got the one, the pipes <laughs> the came pipes. down somehow in here, it's just growing. Somehow, yeah. yeah. Just growing. For that, I think you have that to do industry good. work. <laughs> industry work. <laughs> Tim, what are you on if I want to talk to you? What channel? Probably on data. Uh, no, that's the data logger. <laughs> oh. I think he was, I thought he was on web, but then I tried talking to web and that didn't work. Not the loud. He's on studio. But I don't have the ability to talk to studio. 
they have the ability to talk to us? Yeah. It's like he can talk to us, but we can't talk to him. Oh, wow, this is like a one-way mirror. That's not fair. <laughs> Two-way mirror, I mean. What? All right, so we have a joke a in the chat. Mirror. Everybody, you ready? Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. You, you ready? Okay. It's not a riddle. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> What's a dolphin's favorite music? Oh, what it is. is it dolphin? is what it is. A dolphin's favorite, favorite music. Tunes. Oh. Um, uh, 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 oh, Aisa, I know. She's got an answer. Did you see the answer, though? <laughs> You're right Wait. next to her. <laughs> She's peeking. You have a guess? <laughs> what is it? New wave. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Good. All right. Thank okay. you for the question. Thank you for the joke. <laughs> we appreciate it. We'll be here for the next four hours. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to the bottom. We're like, <laughs> new wave. <laughs> <laughs> Took a bit. I get it. <laughs> 2,000 right. meters later. Yeah. 880 or 890 meters. 91, 92. Oh, and it keeps going. That's good. Is there a way to change it to estimated time to bottom? Um, Didn't it, doesn't it do that usually? It used to. It did that. Like don't know our, why it's not our, doing our it now. first dive, I think it did. E oh, you would have to. He would have to. I think he needs to calcu calculate. Maybe. I don't know how to do math. There used to be a calculator out That's there. What is the rate that we're descending at now? We are oh, 30 meters a minute. That middle one. Yeah. Approximately, yeah. Wait, no, uh, that's the delta depth checking. I was going to say. Flying. Oh, maybe delta You have to input the bottom depth. speed. There it is. I think if you press that bo blue button, you should be able to do it. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Enter is bottom that, depth. Uh -huh. Is that what that's supposed uh -huh. to say? Because it just says bottom depth. <laughs> I can't read it because <laughs> three-fourths of it is missing. <laughs> nice. There you go. Actually, technically, it says er bottom day. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was cool. Time to bottom one hour, folks. All right. Not I bad. To, I also tend to ignore the back row, so you guys can tell me that you're talking to me. <laughs> you need me to tell you that I am talking. We do not. You'll be like, James. <laughs> James. Yep, James. Yep, yep. Pivot. James, James, we're talking uh, to uh, you. You're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another James? We you never know. Yeah, shrimp, the second shrimp. His name is also James. Oh, okay. We're waiting, waiting for him to appear. Somebody erased the shrimp count from oh, last time. We're going time. back. Are we start, should we start over or do we continue? You definitely have to start over. Uh -oh. so All right, so we're at two? Over? Yeah, I thought it was a per watch type thing, you know. Oh, no, it's, I feel it's a per, like I said, per dive. Union, they per, dive. per gig. And each dive's a gig. All right, we've got two on the shrimp count. Was it from left to right? Hopefully we'll have to start a sea pen count. There will be so many. There's three. And it's the same C pen. <laughs> That'd be it's not. curious. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we have the C pen expert here. That's the curious part. <laughs> I have a feeling that you'll be the first um, sample we are going to see. The first animal. Be All right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Bold. And for those of you who are just joining us, we are diving on a small isolated peaked seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. And we are, our estimated max depth is going to be 2,778 meters. We're currently at 966 meters. This was an area previously mapped last year by the EV Nautilus, but has not been explored with Hercules. We saw a lot of sea sponges the other day. Are we going to we did see as many you think? Hard to say. It's not um it's not every dive that you see such a diverse sponge community. You know, yeah, I can guarantee that we are going to see sponges, but um to see fewer corals and see a whole bunch of different kinds of sponges is not every dive. So, I don't know. We'll so see. it was a special dive. Yeah. Lasers engaged. Yeah, sometimes you get really spongy dives, and those are fun. Sometimes there are a lot of sponges, but there are a lot of the same couple types of sponges. How many of them are wearing pants? <laughs> and 
perfectly cute. Only the square ones. <laughs> we did not see any square sponges, though. They were just out of the field of view. Oh, okay. Around yeah. the corner. They're and orange. All, all sponges are party animals. No squares. No, they were they were very classic. Thank you. <laughs> beautiful sea sponges. I just need a one reaction. That's all I need. <laughs> You're all weak. That was just for you. I can't remember what I was looking at earlier. You were saying sea sponges, and this is reminding. I think it was anemones. Mm. I was looking up like anemone taxonomy. You know, as in one your does. spare time, <laughs> <laughs> when you're not diving, what do you do? <laughs> what? Uh. And and this flower, I want to say like an anemone flower, kept coming up, and I realized that I, I had to put sea anemone, and I was like, D -d -d -d. you should just know, an anemone in the sea. Who's who's googling the anemone flower? If you are Lita's Google, Does you should know that we're talking about like the sea. Anemone? Does the flower look like an anemone? I uh, know. No. I'm like, save my cookies. That's not what I'm looking <laughs> for. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's like that bird's of paradise. <laughs> Does it look like a bird? Bird's of paradise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a bird, like, flying in for, like, like a flower or something like that. Like a hummingbird would be kind of flapping. Yeah. It doesn't look like, you know. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's a pretty good name for that. It's like flower. that meme that shows, like, I... Uh, where you think that the birds of paradise flower is like the face of the bird oh. <laughs> <laughs> instead of like the shadow silhouette of the bird it's like a horror bird thousand meters 1050 wow it's still still an hour okay let's yep. look don't look at the time yeah we kind of not look at that are we don't gonna have to get some time. coral are we okay, allowed to look at it every 20 minutes <laughs> look, look into the abyss so it looks back at you Mm -hmm. We can do it. How long is this dive going to last in total? I think we said between 18 and 20 yeah, hours. Something 20 like that. Hours. 20 hours. Is the so one, 20, one of the 20, 20 will be fine. 20 hundred hours <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. 20 hundred. Actually, we'll be halfway so through our watch when we get to the seafloor, which is both sad and we'll make it fly by. Wait, what? What would you say? What's that? We'll be like halfway through our watch when we get down. Yeah. It's a true story. means that we're going to be... Extra excited for extra. the second two hours of the yes, 4 a.m. excited. You seem to misinterpret how these things work. We're going to get there. We're going to set up. We're going to look around. And as soon as it gets interesting. Yes, 100%. It's going to be. I mean, because we're, yes. Well, That's when we things get turned over. And then we will be able to sleep because we were too excited of what we saw. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True story. That we didn't actually get to see. You speak as though this has happened to you before. <laughs> We're the rock star watch. <laughs> I did dream of sea sponges the other night. Really? Yeah. Do they dream of you? I don't know. Save my cookies, Ashley. They are just sponges. <laughs> we don't care about any other, any other sponges. <laughs> uh, but contrary of the sea anemones that they are exclusively marine, the sponges can be fresh water as well. That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> okay, anemones I can understand because so far You're right. what we understand is on marine. There might bush. be. Yeah. But but you know what? This is not Demo Sponge City. This is <laughs> Hexactinellid <laughs> Sponge City. Oh man, it's always a good time here on K. <laughs> you would have a good radio voice, like. I've heard that's not the first time I've heard that before. Yeah. I could, you know, see driving home late at night, it's like 2 a.m. and there's a radio station on and, and you're like the late night radio <laughs> moderator. It'd be very hey, calming. Tune in right now on KO5302. <laughs> KO5302. <laughs> yeah. I like it. I don't know. What do they say? Like, you're just like looking at the heading? What are you, how are you making this up? I don't know. <laughs> it's improv. It doesn't make, I just yes and things, okay? You actually do improv, don't you? I used to, yes. I used to oh. do quite a bit. Hmm. Six years. Wow, that's 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 yeah. a long time. Six to seven. Yeah. No, no, no. Six six to seven years total. Okay. I bet Michael was really funny. Yeah. Bet, uh, What's the best part what about happened? improv? What's the what? Best part about it. What it's, did you like the most? Oh, it's so fun. Especially when you get like a good group that's just like isn't worried about being funny. Yeah. Because uh, like the moment you're worried of Im improv when you're like you're not funny you're not it's it's just not gonna happen yeah and the best thing is like I have a 
I have a, I have a like a knowledge set that's like a mile wide, but very like three inches deep, you know. <laughs> and uh, so it's very good to make like quick connections that are just like seems deeper than it is. <laughs> so if you're in the know, you're, it's hilarious. And it, uh, <laughs> and if you're not in the know, it's just like, oh, why would that guy know that? <laughs> that's funny. Ha ha ha. Is he making it up? <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard my my my. Uh, my pantomime is pretty good. Does that apply to C oh. pens too? So if you're not trying to find a C pen, you find one. Is that how that works? Oh. Yes. Sure. Yeah, we it, can't. We can't yes. try too hard. It's it's when you're not trying to find one and on the move. Okay. That's the, that's how things work down here. I hope not. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a good time. I encourage everyone. Improv has uh, influenced my life very positively. One of my oh, yeah. favorite shows growing up was Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh, yeah. It's like the best show it ever. It is the best. I don't know this show. Is that an oh there's a oh, show really? about improv? It's just it's improv. Literally, they do it's improv. It's like Drew Carey's oh, show. Yeah, Drew, Carey Drew Carey and yeah. uh, the Ryan guy Styles. who played Ryan. Yeah. What was this on? It, it used to be on like a, like a ABC. 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 Oh. ABC yeah, they still have it. They still do it. It was. Yeah. I think huh. it started off as a British show. Or maybe like. It did yeah. start off as a British show. Yeah. yeah. And it was. Yeah. They just get up. And they, it's a bunch of it theater really games. Funny, really. Yeah, cool. It's just a bunch of Next theater games. Next time we have a movie. Wayne Brady. Yeah. Yeah. We should call it an entire series. <laughs> really? Yeah. We should definitely watch that. I want to laugh. It's funny. Yeah. It's yeah. Funny. It's so funny. There's some couple episodes with Robin Williams that are just hilarious. Oh man. Yeah. They're so good, man. Yeah. But yeah, I encourage everyone Tim to take gone. like classes. Help it helps you in life so much. <laughs> take things as they go. Yeah, the quick thinking is probably yeah, really valuable too. And I can't imagine improv happening like in the afternoon, right? So it's probably late. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about being quick at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. Specifically trained. It's actually for forbidden late in the afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> no one can do improv in the afternoon. Everyone's <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. yeah, there's no yes ending in the afternoon. <laughs> you can Just only do no improv but. when it's hard to think. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of no but. <laughs> it was so funny. Everybody was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Bring it back around. Thank you for my radio voice. Yeah. Acknowledgement. Thank you for being here with your radio voice. I do what I can. It's actually why I'm here. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why he's That's here. why I'm on the Yeah, at his interview, they were like, great va radio voice. Okay. Always have to put him on the Tolta to War, though. So you can put everyone to sleep with the cadence in his voice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's why I'm so tired. <laughs> it's Mike's <laughs> fault. It's not Michael's fault. 1,223 meters. 1,223 True story. Meters. Let's do that in the radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> 67 minutes to bottom. Well, that keeps going up, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ch it changes. Are we going slower? Is there a traffic jam? Oh, well, no, it, because uh, it, it calculates, like, in, at the very, like, with the uh, raw velocity at, at the, at the time. You know, doesn't do an average. Are we slowing down a lot? No, it, it he's it, it's going up and down. He 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 goes faster and then he comes up and then he goes oh, faster. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So kind of leapfrogging. Yes. Yeah. So not really. You have to get an estimate with that time because it doesn't automatically average. Yeah. You have to do the average. Mm. I w I was never did improv, so I can't think that fast at night. What? <laughs> How does one prepare for improv? Uh, there's a lot of uh, like um, like warm ups, like a lot of theater warm ups. You get going. Uh, there's individual warm ups where you just kind of like, you know, like thing that you see like uh, they make in the movies and stuff like that. They make actors. Uh, now, brown, brown cow, yellow leather, <laughs> there's stuff like that. And there's also stuff like just like getting loose, being like being okay with being silly, shaking your body, getting loose. And then there's some uh, a couple of uh, group warm ups, you know, trying to get in the zone. Like uh, one of my favorites is uh, it's like very low energy. 
uh, <laughs> it's like uh, you get with the group, maybe four to five, and then you close your eyes, and uh, you, you try to get, uh, and you start counting. Like, but uh, you just interject, like, you know, I'll close my eyes, and I'll be like one, and then someone else will be two, and then someone, but there's no order. And you try to get as high as you can. And that's supposed to be like kind of wait your turn type of thing. How do you make sure you don't talk at the same time? If you talk at the same time, you start over. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I've gotten to 100. Ooh. With By a yourself? That's with impressive. A, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Most yeah. impressive. This, so this sounds like a fun exercise. Maybe we'll sh we should try it. Oh yeah. Bit. It's really good. Because that, that was a really, like, we were in the zone that night. Um, it was like a third or fourth try. And I like restart. Usually, you know, you get up to maybe 10, 15, 20, whatever. And it's really nice. And it feels good. Uh, but we got to 100 because everyone wanted to say 100. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we, which is we what don't we care expected. how far we go. We're just all going to say it at the same time. Should this be our, our watch shift warm up at 1130? Huh. I can do it. I'm in. And then there's another uh, larger group warm up, which is also really fun, which is more high energy, is that everyone gets in a circle. Uh, and then uh, you it start, it'll start somewhere with someone and the person to the right. And you just try to clap at the same time, and then you turn around to your right, and you turn the, and you do that clap is moving around in a circle, and then you slowly right. start to go faster. So oh. the idea is anticipating the move of the person, the people around you. Correct. Like, hmm. mm, that sounds fun. We so should we should definitely actually do one of these next eventually time. Eventually, you'd be like bam, 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 and you're just going around in a circle. What happens if so, if people clap at different times? Uh, uh, you know, you start over. Big fail. You start yeah. over. Got it. You go, way to go, fail. do this, and then you start <laughs> over. <laughs> you all scream it together. Yeah, that's what do we used this. to do. You know, just remind everybody that it's uh, zero. There's always like zip zap zop, stuff like that. Oh, zip zap zop is fun. Yeah, yeah. Seems like we're coming up to our halfway point. Awesome. Depth wise, right? Yep, we're doing good. Getting there. Yeah, Anyone maybe. who is just joining us, we are diving on a small, isolated peat seamount southeast of Johnston Atoll. We've had several days of seafloor mapping south of the atoll due to weather conditions in the area. And we are just happy to be back and diving. This area was previously mapped last year by the Nautilus during NA-140. Oh. Wait, how did you do that? All right, so for those of you who have div have had these blue water dives before, what is something that you ha something that has been your favorite in this type of mid water that we're in? Huh. Was that to the world, or is that like in the room? No, to you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, we were in the CCZ a couple years ago. This wasn't on Nautilus, but we saw a, a Dumbo octopus. Oh, oh nice. That was really cool. In the water column, too? Yes, yeah, it was a... I don't know anything about them. I yeah. just know what they look like because they're, uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty, pretty unique. Um, and yeah, the scientists on board were saying it's very rare to see them where we did. Yeah, but sounds so. like it. I think the ones that we have, they were on the seafloor. Yeah, no, we were um, about a thousand meters up. Wow. Um, I want to say like uh, the most extensive blue waters that I've been on was uh, during ONC up in okay. for Ocean Networks Canada. And uh, they like to do water column like transects basically yeah. so you're going like 10 meters a minute and then uh i guess they were fiddling with the we were just fiddling around with the lights and stuff like that we had dimmed them for a specific reason and then um, because of the marine life and we were close to the vents uh, going down so uh yeah then you just see all this illuminating bioluminescent lights that sounds like, so cool though yeah. i am jealous of and that that was like the most entertaining Blue water watch ever, and it was good because like you know four hours of just like blue water, you know you gotta have something. Yeah. So the fact that there was life blooming, you know. That was so really good. even with just the just dimming the herc lights, you could see the bioluminescence. Okay, with Zeus. It, it, I think is you could see. I don't know if it was like a, I, I I don't think a lot of 
there wasn't as much bioluminescence as we thought there was. But I think it was more you were able to see the reflections better. Mm, right. Because you know, a lot of them are trans. A lot of the tenor that goes through is like a lot of uh, yeah. Um, translucent is so stuff plankton, like that, you know. Yeah. So like the light just bounces off. Uh, but if it's like super bright, it just doesn't happen. You don't see it as well. Yeah. So they had. I, I mean, I wasn't on for it, but at one point that low light camera on. Oh on yeah. Herc that, uh, that, that was pretty good. Apparently. There's also that one. See all we did, kinds uh, of awesome stuff. I mean, it didn't. I think was it that camera that we also used for like when we did the pirouette uh, around that giant. We had to do like a 3D picture mm. thing. We had to do a pirouette around this giant sponge. The structure for motion thing. It was like almost as big as her. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but that was at the bottom. That was part of the question. The question was the water column. <laughs> the okay. So All valuable information. I retract the previous anecdote. What yeah. about you, Leela? Have you seen some favorite midwater species? Oh, hmm. Favorite midwater stuff. I don't know. I think that siphonophores are pretty cool, but usually you see them briefly, and then and then you see them in multiple pieces in front of you, and then you whiz past them. <laughs> it's very sad, but. But those are those are cool to see. You can see really long, long siphonophores or long salps, chains of, of colonial tunicates called salps. That's those are cool. If if we count like uh, getting into the water or out of the water as part of the blue water watch, sharks. Uh, the several times where we've seen like the sunfish, ah yeah, like, they hang around like it's like what's this. Yeah, that's cool. And then we were like, everyone stop the dive. We got to see this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's Gee, go. Gee, it's a baby whale. Anyone seen that video? No? It's like yeah, I just see that. <laughs> guy who doesn't Bo Bostonian, know. Bostonian, right? <laughs> does, yeah, doesn't know what the sunfish is. He's like, it's wicked I, cool. It's, I think it's a hurt. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being from Boston, that was <laughs> very, yeah. Uh, Struck oh. home. For sure. <laughs> oh, hey, was that was that? one of them. Yep. I, I didn't look fast enough, but either I saw siphonophore or salp. Oh. It looked more siphonophore y. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there we but go. There you go. See, this is what I'm talking about, right? Mm. So oh, if we say God. it, we're going to see that, it. That was, so exci that was exciting. Okay. I was talking about the many pieces bit, but yes. <laughs> 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 That's the one thing I find crazy, you know, that how it's like a, it's technically one organism or whatever. Yeah. But uh, they're all the Different little bitties. Yeah. Things. But they're like, I don't know, that's weird. Different zoids all working it's together as a single colonial organism. Working together. Do they one. attach to each other? How do they stay connected? Yeah. Just hold against. Uh, how do they get connected? Uh, wi Fi. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's super glue. Yeah, it's in the chat. There's a, a lot of the ones that you mentioned just now are also some of the. Favorites of the oh, good. viewers, yeah. Who, who, who was closer? Who won? Mm, Blila, definitely. Dang it. Yeah. Salps, siphonophores. Siphonophores. I was explaining earlier to um, to the science manager in training and ocean science intern on my team. Uh, we were talking about Nidarians. This is nerdy, but we were talking about all the groups that are within that so like a coral those are within the, the the phylum or large group cnidarians and they have like they have polyps a polyp form but uh jellyfish are also in that large group and they're what we call the medusa form which is basically like the polyp flipped upside down not attached to anything and uh yeah so m many people don't recognize that those are in the same group and another thing that's in, in that larger group is hydrozoans, which includes the siphonophores. And siphonophores are cool because they have not either the polyp form or the medusa jellyfish-like form. They have both of those at once. So the way that they move around via jet propulsion is like kind of like the way a jellyfish moves around. And so at the front, they have a bunch of zoids that are dedicated to doing that job and so that's the medusa form and then they have all these other polyp forms kind of in a long string behind that 
that do other jobs. Some of them have the job of of feeding, some of protection, some of um, reproduction, and uh, yeah, so that's a cool thing about siphonophores. They have both of those forms at once. Do their jobs change, or do they typically have the same? Is there uh, upward mobility? The jobs are the same because the, the like shape is different depending mm. on what the function is. So um, so at least if I, I, I don't think there's, I don't think they s switch around, you know, once, once, once a zoid has been made for a certain function, it does that function. Interesting. Yeah. We have a question about dimming the Hercules lights. Is that a possibility to see if there's any bioluminescence or do we feel like that's not an option? Um, I mean, we could, but uh, does video need it for anything? No, no. We could turn it down. Uh, there's no dimming. We would be. We would just be turning it off. Uh, let's see. Is there I a way to turn them all off at once and turn them I all could turn back some on of them like off. Flash? Uh, no. Mm. Let's see what we see. There you go. We gotta be able to see Are something. Well, you see all the sparkles in the lasers that's just like stuff that the lasers are hitting on their way down there's a lot that we're not seeing even you know yeah. it looks like all kinds of stuff is running through the lasers that we can't really see yeah okay i'm okay with living like this for a little bit until people okay get bored of watching that so Same. is the ambient light kind of at the top of the screen is that all from the atalanta or are there no that's uh that those the are the uh, lights. upper lights on, uh, on okay. hercules and then the so smaller the lights port at the top suburbs. yeah they're just like up and out they just face away got it the one and i also so i so the ones i just turned off are the ones like that uh, we used to see forward like our headlights i guess you could say and then uh the down light the down light's probably why it was so bright to begin with so the particle is in the laser is pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. It's also kind of cool to, I mean, the lasers are 10 centimeters apart on whatever they're hitting, but they're not really hitting anything, so it just goes off into infinity. Yeah. <laughs> or goes off to attenuation. So computer right, okay, well, no you know. Is that a shrimp? <laughs> was that a shrimp? Because it's shrimp. green light, that's shrimp. further than shrimp. if it was red light. Shrimp. That was three. Okay, all right. Left to right? Uh, uh, down to up. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Keep it going. For a loop. Oh, technically, it could have been going left to right, but we're going down. So it probably was oh, true. static. It could have just been standing there. Yeah. Well, not standing. Stand. <laughs> I was going to say standing. <laughs> not <yes>. standing. Really <laughs> just long Just standing legs. around. <laughs> uh, it had its tap shoes on ready to. It's platforms. Uh, but um, one thing. One thing that Lila was saying about the Nigerians that it's quite a uh, diverse group. Uh -huh. So indeed, they have different um, <coughs> life uh, forms, but they have. I think Nigeria now will be ab about fifteen thousand species wow. described. So they can be polypoid or medusoid, and some of them has the two forms in their life cycle. Yeah. Uh, which is was really cool, but what makes them all at uh, the same group is the um, is the special cell uh, that what sting when you are diving or uh, in the beach and you feel the the sting that we call the stinging cells. That's the night night yeah. yeah. So this make the whole feeling um, the, is a shared. Uh, trait that all of them has, yeah. Yep. The nidocyte houses the nidi, that's the actual like stinging thing, and it's kind of like a simple mechanism. The way that they get it to shoot out, it basically they they just put ions. They they make ions go into the. Well, let's it's gonna get complicated. Let me see how do I how do I do this <laughs> simply. They make it uh, favorable for water to shoot into the cell that ho that houses the stinging um, contraption thread. And when the water comes into, rushes into the cell, then the stinging contraption s shoots out. And it's actually one of the, one of the fastest, like, I guess you could call it a reflex sort of 
in the animal kingdom. They can like do it in like three milliseconds. Wow. Like, like hydrostatic pressure sort yeah. of mechanism? That's cool. Well, they have calcium, they, like the calcium ions go in, and uh -huh. then and then that makes the, the wow. pressure, or the this from high to low density, one, right? you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And so biochemistry, love it. Yeah, or high to low concentration, sorry. When you think they are very, such a um, simple, uh, they have right. animals, you know, and they right. don't 91. have even a nervous yes, system okay. or central yeah. nervous system, yes, so the reflex is that quick, it's yeah, Amazing. it's really impressive. Yeah. And that's one thing that's so cool about so many of these organisms. I mean, pr the sponges, they're extremely simple organisms, but they have really cool capabilities, even without having brains, have the ability to say, I mean, not they're not thinking about <laughs> it, but to, if, if water, if the current is coming from one side, then they open the pores on that side of their body and they don't have the pores on the other side of their body open. And uh, they do that all without a brain, you know, just off of the ability to sense that in other ways. If we can continue to be nerdy about cnidocytes yeah. and jellyfish. So something I love is certain nudibranch species can actually steal the stinging barbs from various other, you know, various cnidarians. So they come and they eat either a jellyfish or an anemone and then they repurpose those stinging barbs into their own body and they grow these kind of like finger-like appendages called serrata. And inside the serrata, they'll they'll house the cnidocytes so that they can then sting any I predators. I had no idea they do that. It's only some Amazing. species, but it is very, very cool. I'm a big nudibranch fan. No, <laughs> and for context, those are mollusks. Yes, yeah, sea so slugs. Yeah, looks kind of, it looks like a slug. And Spelled nudibranch, which is just a fun spelling, fun yeah. word in general. <laughs> Nudie Brink. So totally different group. That's pretty cool. And All then, right. go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say about like tinafores, so comb jellies, people think oftentimes like that's the same thing as the jellyfish, but it's not. Those are totally different groups. And, uh, and it looks like they would have those stinging cells too, but they don't, they don't actually have those. So it's a big, it's a major difference between those two groups. All right, and we are at 1,759 meters, descending on the small isolated peak seamount in the southeast of Johnston Atoll. One kilometer to go. Nice. Lynette, how far is uh, where we're gonna, is, is waypoint 1B from waypoint 2B? I guess I could look at that myself, sorry. Here, it's right here. Look and dive plan. <laughs> you got this distance there. Might be better on the next page. It's on the. It does seem like waypoint two is further away from waypoint one than any of the other distances. It's Are we tracking eight, A or track eight, B? Eight seven B. B. We're B. So it's okay. eight hundred seventy two meters away. We are Thank you, Lynette, for your assistance <laughs> in me just being good at looking and reminding me to look at the paper. <laughs> All right, so as a teacher, we are, a lot of schools are starting back this week in my neck of the woods. Lots of schools all over the world are, are still finishing their school year, but in my area, we just started back this week. So a fun question that I wanted to pose for you all tonight is if you had to teach a class that could not be your area of expertise, what class would you like to teach? <laughs> so what? taking you to any sense like without school. studying anything? Yes. Oh. Like if you had to show if up. If I had to show up today. Teach the class today. Gym class. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. All right. Um, start. And then you have to explain why. So tell us why. Um, you know, I don't really have a good reason for it, to be <laughs> honest. It seems like a pretty easy thing to teach. <laughs> no offense to any of the gym teachers out there. I'm sure the wrangling the children into it. into it does not seem easy at all. But well, I feel like kids are like, most often having a good time in PE. It's uh, depending on the age, I suppose. And no, so I, 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 I do. I it's do a agree. break. It's a break from their daily duties, and it seems like it would be fun to uh, not have to wrangle them to, you know, learn math or something. Yeah, my elementary school students are definitely excited to go to PE, but I think 
maybe in middle or high school, so I might go a little bit more yeah. reluctantly. Everything I can think is a science thing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> that is what I do. <laughs> There's well, a like reason I liked those classes. <laughs> art class or something? Art class, Ooh. art class, for sure. That's it, yeah. I've really been liking um, Stephanie Weinger, who's one of the other science communication mm. fellows. She's an illustrator. She was on the Instagram all day yesterday. I've been really enjoying all of her amazing illustrations. Extremely talented. Yeah, she's yeah. Very talented. I assume she's sleeping, but if not, hey, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> and today she she drawing uh, the black coral. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. we collected on the last dive. Yeah, yeah, with the spines and everything. She still needs to illustrate the um, abominable squat lobster, the <laughs> cross between the Yeti and the squat lobster we asked her to oh, come up with. What yeah. do we call it? But that already exists. It's called the Yeti crab. I wonder if she's really good on the <laughs> telestrator. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I have enjoyed getting to know her better and being on this expedition with her and I definitely have to rein myself in because every minute I'm going can you draw this <laughs> will you draw this for us <laughs> I know actually when she was giving us that presentation I was thinking about thesis edits and, I, and about figures in my thesis and I was like uh well for for the manuscript for publication I was like I should I should totally get staff to look at these <laughs> get feedback what's superfluous what can come out yeah editing your diagrams. What about you, ROV pilots? What would you teach if you were dropped into a school? If I was dropped in? Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> oh, yes. Is that a course? Uh, it is now. <laughs> uh, like, teach something that was not my expertise. I don't know. I, anything really, I guess. I think maybe, point. I mean, acting classes clearly are probably your expertise in addition uh, to piloting, but. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I don't think so. Like drama. Drama class, yeah. Acting. Um, no. Biology. It'd be biology for me. Mm. Correct answer. <laughs> I would say so. Mitochondria I is the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what would be your first what? unit, James? Where would um, where would you start? Kilogram. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You said what unit? Oh, that's a good uh, one. What did there. <laughs> we see. What's oh. your favorite SI oh, unit bio. measurement? I want to know oh. James's response. Where would you start? <laughs> My first biology, biology yeah, class. Yeah, like if you were going to teach, teach it today, uh, what would you start with? Life. <laughs> life in what general. is life? What, what is life? That Ooh. seems more First like unit a, of bio is ancient Greece. It's more of a philosophy class. Yeah. So you capture you capture the people, but it's just like a, a, a philosophy class. Philosophy. Class. <laughs> How about the life cycle of the nudibranch? Yeah. <laughs> Which I know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> just make it up on just the spot. You don't even know what a nudibranch <laughs> looks like. <You're> like <laughs> They're like dogs, right? <laughs> Very furry, yes. Yeah, furry. <laughs> and ah, man, I wouldn't know. They do tricks do. as well. <laughs> that would be great. That would be a great first lesson. Um, what about you, Lynette? Oh, I know. No, oh, James got some of them. Uh, I would probably like writing, mm. or like a like I guess like a like a lit class or something like that. Like it would be lit. Writing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. Uh, yeah, so for me, I think it would be like a literature class or a reading, read, read and white class. Mm. Uh, that, that can set up for a lot of other things, I guess. You're like, I know how to read, I know how to write, I can do this. Just make well, all the kids well, do well, dioramas for the Particularly projects. because, like, I, 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 like, I have a like a learning disability. I can't read. Like, it makes it really hard for me to read. Oh. And like. Uh, and yeah, that's why I would do it. It's not well, my. It's definitely not my expertise. Self strengthening too. Yeah, so it'd be like tips and tricks. It's well, good. It's kind of why I went really for gym. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, Comic Sans is your friend. <laughs> <laughs> no serifs. Sans is hard for people. Yeah. Actually, I prefer serifs. Really? Yeah. It, it helps me. It helps me 
like for some people it doesn't, but it helps me distinguish um, letters better. So you're a Times New Roman kind of dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it helps me distinguish them better, and then it also helps me with like, uh, especially caps, because there was a while where I was just like, I noticed that my writing was essentially like copying fonts. <laughs> oh, interesting. And, like the like it was just like oh this looks like a lowercase a from this font and this like because it's distinct for me. Um, yeah. So I don't know why people are all about like against this uh, serifs. I don't know what's going on. About that. I don't know. It's just like so many extra lines on a page. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not doing nothing. I think they're fancy. <laughs> so why put them there? I think uh, it's no, so I mean, fun like how we get to debate this all there's day long. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like, there's a bunch of, like, have you looked at college rules? There's more lines. <laughs> <laughs> and they're not doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving you they're, they're lines giving you to a, write on yeah, so that you're not, you not like, sideways template. all the time. You're not psycho and writing <laughs> putting viral. <laughs> uh, they're, they're putting you in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really so in your class, <laughs> in, your <laughs> class, in my class, it's printer paper only. That's pretty, that's pretty sure. Have you seen the Constitution or anything like that? They didn't have any lines. Okay, and they're, they're, no, they were there. they're like that's that sideways. Would be, that would be funny though. Like if you go to the constitution, like they needed lines because like it's like, it's like, it's like writing in the bar. <laughs> so like so you're gonna teach a lit class and you can write in whatever direction. Yeah. Because <laughs> I did try to take up calligraphy. One of my the biggest problems I had though was uh, there's a comedian that makes fun of this. Is like always mis uh, misgaging <laughs> how much you have to how much yeah. room you have to write. So you're just like, big old B, like writing a birthday <laughs> sign. And you're like, oh, and you write, like, run out of room at the end of the, <laughs> the day. letter's like, getting oh, smaller God. and smaller and oh, smaller. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, man, I got to do better at this. Okay, next line. <laughs> big I thought B. you were going to say, like, <laughs> the problem B. is spelling things wrong. Like, you work so hard to make the first half of the word look beautiful. Oh, and, you're yeah. like, and then it's wrong. Dang it, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Can't even erase it. That's what you, that's no, what I, spelling uh, things during calligraphy is actually a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I've taken classes on it, and the teachers of those classes was like in middle school. Um, but like the professional calligraphers who taught this were like, oh yeah, it happens all the time because you're focusing on like the, yeah, each yeah. individual letter and the form of it and how it looks as a whole, and then you're like, oh, these are the wrong letters in the book. <laughs> <laughs> what am I writing again? <laughs> yeah, wait. Yeah. I always, I, I, I do like word art. Like, have you seen those uh, people that do those, the words? Yeah. That, uh, it's the same forward and backward, and then like whichever up, uh, up and down. Isn't there a term <laughs> for that? What's the name of that? I have no idea. There is a word for it. It's probably the same. For, it's, well, there's a palindrome. But, no. But I meant like. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. When they draw it, it looks like it's. Uh, and you turn it around, turn the page around. It's the same word or something like that. Mirror image hmm. result. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Other front row folks, classes right. that you would teach. Oh, yeah, yeah. What would you teach? Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me, Lynette? so hard. I don't know. Um, maybe like shop class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is that like shopping one. or sh shop? What? Shop. Carpet yeah, shopping. shopping. <laughs> Coffee shop. <laughs> 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 the class where we go to the mall. <laughs> that would be so very bad. popular. If that, a, if that was a thing anymore. I would go to our school. This sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, it does sound fun. That would be better than my new to bring Does class, not sound like... <laughs> Doesn't sound like they would pass uh, the standardized test, but that's okay because that's what it's now. It's all about no, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> I uh, I just realized like something like you said the mall or going to the mall. You get like a, your test is a you have a list. Yeah, uh, you got to buy two hundred items with two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. This would be a good reality TV show. Yeah. Uh, well, there was like a show like that. It's called uh, Supermarket Sweep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Classic. <laughs> I was like eight years old imagining what I would do if I was in that supermarket. I would grab the laundry detergent. <laughs> Wait, what is uh, this for? What's like the premise? Supermarket Sweep? Have you never seen that? I don't know. It's a it's a show from like the 90s. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and you could tell. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, so what they're doing is like just teams, like four teams or three teams of two. Okay. And like uh, they go shopping in a grocery store. And the whole point of it is to get like... Um, who can like grab the most groceries and gra grab the most uh, like in price? Yeah. It's so basic. wait for the lowest price. Who can? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, they have like different. You, you try to get the highest price. You want in the, the billiard shopping cart. Take it to the thing, and like there's different 
there's different things. Like you have to go around and like, okay, you get clues and you have to go around and look at different things and try to guess what they are. You need to get specific items sometimes. And you want it to make it as expensive as possible? You, yeah, you want to make it as expensive as possible. Why? <laughs> right? Like, wouldn't they give you like the amount of money that you spent? I don't remember yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. how it worked, but yeah, I, like all that. I remember is that you oh. were trying to get as much in your cart into the checkout as possible. Hey, that is such an American show. You can only bring, to the, to, can only bring to the checkout what you can fit in your cart. Yeah. Like the best bang for your buck or something? Yeah, yeah so you always wanted to go to the laundry detergent or something. There you were always, always these to go to these, laundry like, detergent. giant you gotta go for diapers, <laughs> and then you always go for like the, like the large Because you can check those out ham. fast, and they're expensive. All the yeah. meanwhile, I'm a but, know, but, but, nine-year-old well, telling yeah. them what I <laughs> Yeah, I know. Grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I introduced, the, like, it was on Netflix, I think, for a little bit. It might still be on there. Mm. And then uh, I think I introduced it to, to like, my partner or somebody, and then they were just like, what? <laughs> this and where has it been my whole life? <laughs> That's amazing. Because, uh, uh, man, it's so silly to ha be, like, to get engaged on someone running around a shopping store, a grocery <laughs> store, <laughs> filling up their basket. And you're like, oh, no. That's what shop would be. <laughs> that, that is not that what is Lynette's shop, shop would be. That, that, that's a couple, that's a Panos, couple. what would you teach? If you could teach anything. Photography. Photography. Oh, nice. I always pictured you as a dancer, Panos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Theresa's. Hmm. <laughs> that's good. All right, Aisa, one more. What, what class would you teach if it, it cannot be a science class? It has to be something different. A uh, cooking class. Oh. oh, man, our school is really shaping up around here. <laughs> <laughs> what type of food oh, would you? Mm. All kinds. Mm. All kinds. Of uh, but focusing ice cream. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh, we're teaching a cooking is there, class. Is there an early ice sign cream. up? Look at <laughs> yeah. Is there a wait list? Hi. <laughs> Focused on the ice cream food group. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it's it. It's his own food group. I it's love just it. like, um, it's like uh, how to they make are, like, other food dishes, included but in here? like they're still ice cream, but they look like other things. Oh, right. Okay. So it's like how to make pizza that is actually ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cake show. Like, is it a cake yeah. or is it not yeah, a cake? Yeah, yeah. Or is it a football? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's like. That sounds disastrous. That's like, those are the episodes of the cooking show where you're always like, oh no, it smells, it's all falling apart. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it funny they make those, like how dramatic they make them uh, and how good they make them so dramatic, you know? <laughs> well, Man, I love cooking. to all the teachers out there, we hope you're having a great first week if you're just now starting your, your oh, school year. Oh yeah, I just thought about that. <laughs> That's the whole reason that we have it. <laughs> and for anyone who is just now joining us, we are diving on a small isolated peak seamount in the southeast region of Johnston Atoll. Um, this area was mapped last year by the Evening Nautilus on Expedition NA-140. Um, Johnston Atoll is one of the most remote atolls on Earth and probably something you might see Coming up in our Instagram is Atoll Atoll Atoll. <laughs> so oh, yeah. The big debate. Atoll Atoll Atoll. Which one is it? Where is it all? We are currently at 2,197 meters. Our max depth for this dive will be 2,778. And the estimate right now is about 20 more minutes to the seafloor. Twenty minutes. Well, 500 meters to go. We can do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah. 
I think somebody was talking about the thrusters for jellyfish. Is that similar to the RV? What? Wait, what? That was a while back. Sorry. The thrusters for jellyfish? <laughs> I know jellyfish don't. Like the way that they thrusters. move? Uh, Sorry, I'm digging back from the conversation uh, from the, about the it. Jellyfish an hour Do, does the ROV move like a jellyfish? It's similar. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, not at all. No. What? That'd be fun. I mean, <laughs> let's sure. see. Like, like a jellyfish will s squeeze the water out of part of its body to to uh, for Keep jet propulsion moving. to get it to move where that water, yeah, kind of to get it move forward. So we're but not squeezing mm, Hercules no. necessarily. No. Uh, it, like, yeah, aren't they we are pushing like, water out of the way. Uh, I was you know. Say, I guess they say the similarities that we're put, both push water. Yeah. Mm. But, I mean, but does it really everything? It. You know, Anything that moves in water. Yeah. Right. I guess I do like well, the term. Well, that's not true though, because like a fish, a fish that's just kind of oscillating, or you know, that's not. It's yeah. not pushing water in quite the same way, I guess. Yeah. But it's still pushing. It is. It is. It's using back and it, forth, it, yeah. pushing. Not pulling. Yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. Very interesting. If it, have, it would have to be. Frozen, squat lobsters almost seem to do that. The way Pull, they move yeah. backwards, like you know. Let's hope a shrimp swim um, forwards. I do like the term thrusters, though, for any sort of movement appendage <laughs> on any sort of deep sea creature. I'm gonna start using that for my feet. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, my left thruster is like. My left, my, <laughs> my like left thruster is killing me. Kill me. I was making a lateral shift, and I just wasn't having it. So not really seeing much bioluminescence out there, huh? Nope. Uh, not really seeing much of anything, actually. No. Yeah. Well, it is 2 a.m. Yeah. They're Maybe everything's sleeping. sleeping. So, yeah, everyone's, everyone's going to bed. Well, so higher up in the water column, some of the zooplankton, I would assume, are diel migrators. That'd be a safe assumption. Yeah, it's possible. What does that mean? So certain plankton kind of migrate up in the evening oh. and back down in the daytime to avoid predators and take advantage of stuff that's higher up in the water column that they can get to in the dark. Got a question for you. That's cool. Is that migration above the oxygen minimum zone? Is it span it? Like, do they start below it and then go above it? Hmm, that's a good question. They can definitely cross it. Yeah. The, there are probably some organisms that can come from around that depth to into the mesophotic zone or something. So uh, back in Florida, I've done what's called a blackwater dive, where you actually see them just around like 50 to, s 50 to 80 feet, whatever that is in meters. So definitely above the oxygen minimum zone that we saw here at, what was it 50 meters? Oh, we were deep. Way deeper, deeper than 300, that. 300 meters or something, right? Oh, yeah, way off, 385. Yeah. But yeah, different organisms will migrate different, different distances, and some sure. actually move quite a bit. Yeah. Which is very impressive, these tiny little organisms. You know, we're like, we're, we're taking forever, seemingly, with like a big thing with thrusters to get down, but these organisms can move that not this whole distance, but part of that distance in just a night. Now we're at 2,311 meters. Almost there. The last 400 meters seem to be the longest. <laughs> Are you oh, sure? Was I not supposed to slow down? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. We have about 17 minutes right now, but I've been watching that clock and it sometimes jumps up 10 minutes mm -hmm. as we go. I think it's pretty safe to say it's gonna be about 15, 15 20 minutes. Do, 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 do
Are there more jokes? What's going on? Um, no, not uh, right now. Uh. Did we not get any more submitted to the chat? No, nothing right now. You should hold prizes and giveaways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll zoom on animal of your choice. <laughs> <laughs> have to find well, it first. It's a good prize. There is a prize for our favorite highlight, though, so. Ooh, Check what out is our that? social media. Wait, who gets well, who gets like the person who advocates for the it? The scientist who sold the really oh the what? highlight gets Whoa. the prize. Well, it's got to okay. be the rock, right? The rock's gonna win. So I mean, the, the obviously, rock, the rock needs a few more votes. I if think it's you, gonna win. you really set up poor Nick for <laughs> failure on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Nick did a fantastic job selling the rock. Oh, because like, because is, you is were there was I a video wear. of them selling it. Yeah, so each scientist is just a Where is this? I want to see this. It's on Instagram. Oh. Check I it out. I'm pretty sure the rock's gonna win because should win. I mean, rocks are pretty popular. Yeah, have you two voted? <laughs> I have not voted. Wait, is this like so still live? Right? So what? Yep. Oh yeah, because like everything attaches to <laughs> everything attaches to the rock. Squat lobsters probably live under a rock. I don't know. Uh oh, we're making Aisa a little bit nervous because she's in she's in the lead right now with her sea <laughs> pen. So. Yeah, I think the sea pen needs those rocks you know, for anchorage. Mm. So rock, paper, or scissors? Which one? Lila can help you. We decided the sea pen was the I'm paper rocks. and the squat lobster was the scissors. So I'm pretty sure rock's going to win. Be it has to win. Because like, it's you know, you might be people, disappointed. people <laughs> want the rocks. You know what I'm saying? Rocks are everything. Rocks yeah. are telling us charismatic a story. Charismatic rocks. Well, charismatic <laughs> rocks. They do. Yeah. As the geologists would say, rocks do tell a story. Yeah. And Nick sold it well. He said, "And you get to cut them open." <laughs> That's not mutually exclusive to rocks, though. True. Poor squat lobsters. Mm. Oh. But yeah. I mean, there was a whole era where people like had pet rocks, you know. People still paint rocks and decorate them. In people have garden. pet crabs too. Pet pet squat lobsters, maybe not. Oh. Pet hermit, well, hermit crabs, crabs yeah. which yeah. are apparently very closely related yeah, to squat lobsters. Know. I found out yesterday from I Power Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> well, the the poll will be open for another. We're giving it 24 right. hours, and I posted it at 3 a.m. yesterday, so it will be open for another couple hours if you're Come interested on, in voting. Rock. <laughs> that part, yeah. Come on, Rock. So, see Ben. Uh-oh. <laughs> People love rocks. Just <laughs> ahead of it. Just saying. <laughs> see rocks. People paint rocks. Did Nick say something about how his There's first geology rocks. class, he was told he was not allowed to describe them as shiny. Oh yeah, we told we were <laughs> we were First trying what? to help write the script, and he was like, "You're not allowed to say they're shiny." I'll be why. <laughs> um, I what think if they are? Just, <laughs> I think it was just not an accurate description. Shiny implies that it shines <laughs> bright like a itself. diamond. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, bright like a diamond. Like it comes from within. Is what it means to be shiny. An inner glow. Some yeah. some rocks, if they're really hot, do. That's true. That's true. Then yes. yes, then that would be okay. It's like, hey, this one's pretty shiny for a rock. For a also, don't touch it. <laughs> um, yeah, so it has to be yeah reflective. Is the proper term I would assume. Oh, but most of the rocks we see on the seamount were once hot rocks. It's true. Now they Glowy are rocks. Back now they're covered. They're shiny. So we were able to cut, cut open Mortial some of the rocks from the dive from last week. Which ones do were the best, or were there ones specifically that we're going to try to build off of for this okay. dive? I mean, we get points for collecting one, all right? <laughs> <laughs> for being able to lift it off the seafloor. It, it may not have been the best. It was also not the worst. There was a moment there where it seemed like it was the worst of the bunch, but then we found no. one that was much, much worse. So it's we were the least of the worst. <laughs> we were, yeah, the better of the worst. There you go. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, that didn't sound right. We, we were the worst of the worst. <laughs> uh, there were a couple. 
So what we're going for is rocks that have uh, as much of the initial rock that was formed, that was once shiny, as much of that in its original form as possible in it. Um, and it's really hard from the outside to predict what they're actually going to look like once you cut them open. But the ones that we cut open had a lot of them, all kinds of stuff that showed up afterward, mm -hmm. af after the rock was initially formed, different ways that, that the rock has been altered since it was initially formed and other things that have kind of intruded since. Um, don't judge a rock by its crust. Yeah, don't judge a rock by its crust. <laughs> there you go. Um, but we have to, right? That's what we've got to do is judge a rock by its crust as best as we can. But there were some, there were two that were pretty promising that still had some of that original rock in it. So you don't need very much to be able to, to date, to age date. And that's the goal for these rocks is to be able to age date them to try and figure out more about how these seamounts and geos that were on formed. Uh, so yeah, promising stuff. Well, we'll see what types of rocks we're able to actually pick up this time. Yeah. You guys, I'm getting really excited that there might be a chance we're going to land on bottom right at the two hour mark. Oh, that's no. crazy. That would make me so satisfied. Excited because you'll still have two hours to explore? Just well, it just makes my parts. brain happy when we land at, it, it, at yeah, the oh, like oh, a, oh, oh. It's just like a. <laughs> well, I guess it's the o oh, two oh, oh, but still. Well, yeah. we're at seconds, 2000, seconds notwithstanding. UTC, UTC. Like 2,488 meters right now. Hoping to get to 2,778. Current estimate is about 11 minutes to seafloor. It's going to change because I just changed speeds. So ah. Well, we see a lot of sediment or not, no rocks yet, right, when we when we land? We don't, we don't, you know, you never know, but it'll probably be more sandy. I guess that's part of it being unexplored. We don't really know. Uh, that chonicops we saw the other day was pretty exciting. So uh, cool, so cool <laughs> to see it swimming. That was awesome. Usually they're kind of, they just stay put on the bottom. That was very cool to see the chonicops cool. swimming. It looked, like it looked like he was wearing little latex gloves. Yeah, <laughs> the yellow, <laughs> like yellow latex gloves. Are those pretty common? Oh, chonicops? Yeah, from uh, around here. I am They're not super familiar. common in general, but they are definitely in this area they're in near Kingman are, uh, you can find them yeah throughout the Pacific remote what, island what are those other fish the type like, of toad uh, oh those other fish the other ones the, the one the ones that like uh, like clip their their fins they're a lot more like sharp in there, their lean fins. and sharp like the, the tripod the, fish yeah is that what it is I think it is yeah, wait the ones like that are like still stilts on stilts basically yeah they're like uh they're on rocks uh they kind of clamp themselves on rocks in the current. Nope, different fish. Hmm. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, what is that fish? Wait, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, it's not a tripod fish. Different fish than we were thinking it might be. Oh. Clamps itself on rocks in the current. Either rocks or on surfaces. On the sand? Like, the ones that, that look like they're propped up on really long, thin... Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 maybe that is. Maybe you are talking about a tripod fish. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one of the mo more notable... Those are cool. They are Especially, cool. Especially, I think it was last year we were around here in the area. Was it here, maybe? But then we saw, like, a, several of them at once. Yeah. The current. And then uh, there's one giant beefy-looking one. Really? Yeah, ones that had just, like, got back from the gym or something. <laughs> it, was just, it was like, whoa. I went to work out. It yeah. It, it looked <laughs> like, uh, oops, uh, honey, I blew up the fish. <laughs> there, uh, yeah, were some dives on, on last, on Kingman, where we saw, like, 15 tripod fish. It was crazy. Yeah. Wow. Lots all of in one location? Uh, not all together, no. Uh, rel but uh, on, okay. but like, uh, there wasn't much to see, and they were the main thing we saw interspersed. Interesting. Yeah, yeah it was it's very like cool. Having a party. Fish. Yeah. It's always hagfish, too. Uh, actually, we didn't really see, I don't think we saw uh, must any be a I'm thinking a different thing, yeah. hagfish on. There are a lot of the hagfish uh, off the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, yeah. Ton yeah. of hagfish there. I think we saw a lot when we were doing that from like in the Santa Barbara area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. West Coast hagfish. Slimy. So were most of the fish that we saw in the last dive eels? Are eels uh, fish? Eel like fish. Mm hmm We didn't really I, I don't remember us seeing any actual eels. 
Yeah, um, we didn't see any on our watch, but I think there were. There might have been some. Yeah, I think they did see actually some eels. I saw they had saw a really cool like uh, white white eel. Um, on our watch, we just saw the cusk eels and the um, rat tails. Those are eel-like fish, but okay. they're not eels. But yeah, a lot of those here. Right. Pilots, would you mind uh, full power cycling the triclops system? Cycle triclops. Copy, right. way one. So the current poll is still showing sea pens at 51%. Oh, a substantial lead. Squat lobster, 36, and the volcanic rock at 14. No, come mm. on. Come on, rock. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> One more hour. Ooh. <laughs> Paula didn't get her MCZ team to vote. <laughs> rock and roll. But indeed, sea pens are fascinating, you know. <laughs> they are fascinating. They are, they are. So because of their muscular peduncle? As well. <laughs> this, is one of, this is one of the things, because like, compared to the other octocorals, they, they are very specialized, uh. and di they differentiate themselves. So one of the things is the peduncle. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys really love that word. <laughs> We're all like, it's just a weird sounding sentence. Yes. Is it because of the, like, you know, can you use comment? that in a sentence, please? <laughs> and then, it, yeah, it's just a weird sounding word that just came out of nowhere, especially since I have no idea. What, like, no science content. has so many of those good words, like proboscis. Yeah, who came great. up with that word? That's uh, really good. What's that? Uh, that's like in a, you know a butterfly, for example, an insect. I mean, uh, there are lots yeah, of different yeah, things yeah. we say have a proboscis, but that yeah. feeding feeding structure. Rostrum is a good one. Mm -hmm. Rostrum, man. Yeah. The snout. <laughs> Energy. No plasma. Our words are our our things are named after like people for some reason. Coryphenoides, I really like that one. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. That's one of the sh fish that we will probably see at one point. It's like kind of rat tail. But yeah. I, when I was an intern, uh, my first time out on Nautilus, I loved that word. The scientist taught me about coryphenoides, so I was like, oh, is that a coryphenoides? Can you, can you say it slower? Let's try. Cory Coryphenoides. <laughs> <laughs> How even slower. I don't even know if I could do that. <laughs> Cory for no. That sounds like a playground disc. Fanoid. Yeah. <laughs> like a playground disc. Cory what happens at 2 a.m. in the van? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? There he is again. So you're just Corey playing a prank on me already. <laughs> we have somebody right? in the chat saying Team Squat Lobster. Oh. Ooh. Fighting words. Squat oh. Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> we have Team C Pen on the Yeah, show. right. Yeah. <laughs> But we love them all, right? <laughs> oh, for sure. So are we going to land in the dark here since we're coming up on it? Yeah. Another That's 100 a meters great so. question. We've got yep. about four, exactly. four minutes. Oh. 2,643 meters. It's not reading real altitude yet. No, not yet. No. Only yeah. Just turned on the lights yeah. a little bit to see a little bit sea floor, it'll more start clearly reading. when we could see that sea floor. See the sea floor. Yeah. <sighs> Because it's there, and we'll see it in just a few minutes. It sounds like you're there. convincing yourself right now. I'm like, I know it's, it's there. there. Well, you think it's there. It's All the gauges are telling us we will see it. No. No. <laughs> no. And no. <laughs> Ta-da! One, two, three, no. <laughs> we still have it's about It's not even meters. reading bottom people. <laughs> Very surprised we haven't seen more shrimp. I think last dive we had a lot more shrimp by now. 
Really? Going down? Yeah, I think they had 10 mm. by the time we came up for our watch last time. Mm. Well, we also turned off the lights. True. We had 11, I saw them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 111 now. What were all of their names? We have uh, 111 shrimp. <laughs> it's the same shrimp. I'm telling you. <laughs> Michael's like, how many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> Pools. Don't fool yourself. It's just the same shrimp with different hats on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it has a mustache. And yeah. <laughs> different disguises. Different disguises. It's a monocle. <laughs> that's, part of the, that's part of the trick. It's a quick change act. <laughs> <laughs> change places. <laughs> It's actually two shrimp with a long trench coat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tinkles, tinkles that bring you joy at two in the morning. <laughs> it's just such a ridiculous image. <laughs> but also remember, like, it's Muppet like, Man. One like, what standing is on his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, what is the motivation for being tall? Why does he need to pretend he's a taller shrimp? <laughs> Could be a lot of reasons. That's the only way to get work. <laughs> yeah. He has to be that tall to ri ride the ride. <laughs> well, well, it yeah. might surprise you. How do you watch the Muppets again? That was such a good movie. <laughs> All right, we're getting there, almost. About 100 more meters. About that? No. Well, my dream of the oh oh minutes has been squashed. Darn. It's okay. Oh shoot. All right, we'll put the pedal to the. It's pedal. all right, because no, honestly, it's uh, it's noon. Challenge accepted. UTC. So. Oh, UTC. It's uh, you know, right. it's not midnight here. It's not I'm midnight there. I'm thinking in three different time zones right now. I've got HST, e EST, and UTC. Sounds like a bunch of tax. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Tax forms. Might have to slow down. I can't catch you. Yeah, I'm like already going like ten meters a minute. Yeah. Got our pilots coordinating. Look, I'm starting to get like a consistent altitude. Yeah, you won't. I'm at eighty. Oh, that's you. I knew that. Are you two spying on each other? What? <laughs> yes. Sitting next to each other. <laughs> what a screen watcher. What? Yeah, don't cheat. <laughs> don't Eyes on your own paper. <laughs> <laughs> no screen watching. Am I still going faster? I'm not moving. <laughs> I can't go down any faster than that. All right, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to stop. Or, like, not stop, but I'm going to let you pass. We are at 2,688 meters. Our goal is 2,778. I think you need to put, like, if you can, like, also go out more. We're, like, um, well, just judging by now, our, 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 separa our 2D separation is pretty good. Okay. Tim, uh, if you can hear us, we need to. I'm you. just, I'm still getting used to this auto heading. It's just not, um, it just works a little differently than I'm used to. I accidentally changed my set point. Okay. There you go. There we go. Sorry, we missed the two o'clock. That's okay. It's okay. If I can turn back time. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all I, yeah, that, that's all I have for the job. <laughs> Coral Oki. Um, before we get closer, would you mind just quickly power cycling the still cam? Still cam. You got that? That one's the DC, uh, oh, yeah. DSE, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't say it was back on. Okay, now it's back on. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. 
You're welcome. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. So polite. 50 meters. Whoever sees it first wins. I win. <laughs> I saw it. Do you see it? No. <laughs> Can't you see it? You see it? It's, see it? it's, right it's clearly right in front of us. <laughs> Can't you see the reflection of the lasers? I do see the lasers. So what orientation are the lasers? Lasers are they pointing they're pointing kind of slightly down, correct? Yes, they're on they're actually on the Zeus camera Ooh. and I'm looking slightly down. Mm -hmm. so. you can hear the anticipation. If you are just joining us, we are approaching seafloor at a small isolated peak seamount in the southeast region of the Johnston Atoll, part of the Pacific Remote Island Marine National Monument. ETT? One minute. Engaging manual descent. Ooh. Estimated time of what? Depth. Oh, D. I thought you said T. T D. We spent Estimated several time days. To toll. There it is. Oh, hey. you saw it. Woo. Oh, James wins the prize. What is it? You can log it. The seafloor. Seafloor. And the there <laughs> is sand. I need a soundboard. Nope, I like it when you are the soundboard. <laughs> is that another shrimp? Yeah. Shrimp. Is it? It's the, no. It's, it's not sure. even the same color, Michael. It has it's to be a different one. It's not even a shrimp. It's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. It's a shrimp. Uh, Do I have to go look? No. It'll come to us. <laughs> not come to us. Look at that. Shrimp. It's doing a great job. Look at the... Look at it pulling the water. Yeah. Right? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Very nice long <laughs> oh, antennae. That's beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, man, I would love to look closer at those. Okay. Are you at the bottom? How close are okay. you? Uh, seven meters up. Okay. Oh, we came back. There he is. Or is it the uh, different one? Or is it a different one? Well, I don't think we can count it twice. You can come down now, I guess. Coming down. Or right, which direction are we? going to be traveling. Are we looking to land or are we just uh, well, we'll, we should probably oh, land and then do get all the to? Yeah, we need well, we sh we're going to have to like uh, do color corrections and stuff like that. To ca get calibrated? Yeah. Yeah, white balance. So it might be better just to land and I can Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'll turn around and I'll get you in Atlanta so that goes off. Yeah, I was just wondering if um you know, what direction we're going if it makes more sense for me to turn around or for you to turn Adelaide yeah, what, around. Yeah, let's let's get that into mind. Where do we plan to go? Well, we got some time North, here when they're fixing ish, their... East -ish. That is a... Uh... Oh, okay, interesting. It's not as sandy as you think. It's mm. not as sandy as it looks, that's for sure. Interesting. Or it's very granulated and it's heavy. Yeah, the sand around here tends to be kind of like not silty. It right. is actually sandy or bigger. Because usually it's more of a, like a superhero yeah. landing and a big cloud of smoke. These are more, a lot of a lot of what we see is actually they're like little forams, little foraminifera. Do you need to come closer to you? I, you might need and to again, back up a bit, yeah. I can, mm -hmm. I, I can back up. Please. I'm only 12 meters above you. I don't want to get too much. Okay, no problem. Uh, too much closer than that. 